Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that a company has five divisions: HR, Finance, Marketing, Technology, and Admin. Between 2021 and 2025, the company hired a certain number of employees, and some employees decided to retire. So this table gives the percentage of employees hired every year. Like you can see that when you add these, this total adds to 100%. So for any year, like if you count this. The retired will also add to hundred percent. Okay, so this gives the percentage of employees that were hired or retired every year. Now, some information is given about them. It says the total number of employees hired or who retired in any year is a multiple of hundred. So these all totals are multiples of hundred hired as well as retired. The number of employees who were hired in 2022 was the same as the employees hired in 2024, while the number of employees who retired in 2021 was same as the number of employees who retired in 2025. Okay, so some information is given that hired in 2022 and hired in 2024 is the same. Similarly, retired in 2021 and retired in 2025 is the same. Six eighty-eight employees were hired in marketing, while two hundred and twelve employees working in that department retired. So, in marketing, total of six eighty-eight were hired, and two hundred and twelve retired. Now, this is the crucial part that that is the only department for which we are given the numbers. The number of employees hired in twenty twenty-five was the sum of the number of employees hired in twenty twenty-one and twenty twenty-four. So this plus this equals to this. The number of employees hired in 2023 and 2022 are both multiples of 400. So all these numbers are multiples of 100, whereas 2022 and 2023 are multiples of 400. The number of employees who retired from the marketing department in 2024 was more than the number of employees. Who retired from the same department in 2022? Okay, so let us do one thing. Let us start with the hired one, and then we will calculate the number of employees retired also. So let us take variables uh, A, B, C, D, E like that. Now these are multiples of 400 that is given to us. So let us take the number this as 100 A. Then 2022 let us take as 400 B. We are given that 2022 and 2024 is same, so this number will also be 400 B. 2023, let us take as 400 C, and 2025, we are given that the number of employees hired in 2025, sum of number of employees hired in 2021 and 2024. So that will be the sum of these two values, which is 100 A plus 400 B. Now. We will find the number of employees in marketing. Okay, so first, if you take hundred A, this will be fifteen A plus six times of four hundred B, twenty four B, fifteen into four sixty C, twenty three into four ninety two B, and finally forty one into hundred is forty one A plus forty one into four is one sixty four B. Now adding this, we will get fifteen A plus Forty-one A, that is fifty-six A, plus twenty-four ninety-two, one one six, two hundred and eighty B, plus sixty C, equals to six hundred and eighty-eight. Okay. Now A, B, C are integers. They will be positive integers. They will be natural numbers because we cannot take zero. Otherwise, why would the percentage make any sense? Now, if you take B as two, let us we cannot take B beyond two. If you take B as two, it will be five sixty, and if you subtract five sixty, we will get one twenty eight. And sixty C, like even if you take one one, that will be sixty and fifty six. We cannot make one twenty eight. So we are certain that B will be is equal to one. So B is one. Now B is one. That means we will get. Fifty-six A plus sixty C is equal to subtract two hundred and eighty from it. We will get four hundred and eight. Okay, so that is four hundred eight. 
Now, in order to make c, 60c will end in 0, last digit will be 0 for any value of c. We should have the last digit as 8, that means this should end in the last digit 8. So, we can multiply by 3, that is an easy way to do this, otherwise hit and trial, you will keep trying the values. So, straightforward, we can say that 3 times, because last digit will be 8, total last digit is 8, this last digit will be always be 0, so it should be 3 times. So, let us verify. If you do 3 times, it will be 168 plus 60C is equal to 408, right? So, 168, 408, two, we get 240 or we get C is equal to 4, okay? So, A is 3, B is 1 and C is 4. So, this gives us the number of employees. So, A is 3. So, the number of employees here is 300. B is 1. So, this is 400, 400. C is 4. This will be 1600. And 100A plus 400B. 400 plus 300. The number of employees is 700. Okay. If you want to cross verify, we can find the number of people in marketing and get the total. Okay. So, let us do that verification also. 45 here. 400 into 6, 24, 1600 into 15, 16 into 15, 240, 23 into 4, 92, 7 into 41, that is 287, okay, 287 uh, and this will be uh, 45 plus 24, 69, 309, 401, 688, so this total matches, we can find the number of employees in all departments using these totals, okay, so this is the solution for the hired part okay now we will do the same thing for the retired part as well okay so number of employees hired in 2021 is 300 so that is our answer now let us do the retired part also now for retired part we will again do the same thing so first thing these two values are same so let us take the variables as 100 a and 100 let's take pqrs this time so 100 p and 100 p now Nothing else is given about the number of employees retired for different years, okay. So, uh, multiple of 100 used, retired 21 and 25, same, uh, the numbers are given to us, hired, hired, so nothing else about retired, only this information is left with us, right. So, let us put QRS, 100Q, 100R, 100S, so different variables. Now, total number of people in marketing will be 40 plus 47, right? 40p plus 47p, 87p plus 9, 13, 23, 9q plus 23, 13r plus 23s is equal to 212, okay? Now, let us look at the higher value of p. We cannot take beyond 3. If you take 2, this will be 174 and even if you take minimum 1, that is 9 plus 13 plus 23. So, that is 36, 45, right? plus 45 will give us 219, right. So, it is not possible to take it as 2 because as soon as we take 2, we cannot make values for other variables. So, it has to be 1 only. So, P is 1. So, we can say that the number is 100 over so, if we take it as 1, we will get 87 plus 9q plus 13r plus 23s is equal to 212 or 9q plus 13r plus 23s is equal to uh, 125, okay. Now, let us start with the values of s. See, S can take what all values? We can take, let's think of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Beyond that, that is not possible. 5, if we take, it will become 115. Not possible to make 10 of the remaining. So, 5 we can rule out. If we take 4, we will get 92. Let us try to make 33 out of it. So, 13 plus 9 is 22. Even if we add 9, it will become 31. We cannot make 33 out of these two values. So, not possible. If we take it 3, we will have it 69. Now, we will have to make 56. Okay. 13 plus 43, not possible. 26 plus 30, not a multiple of 9. 39, 
17 not possible and 52 add 4 not possible okay so for 3 also we can rule out now let us take this requires more hit and run than the previous one so 46 that means these two have to be 79 okay now think of a multiple of 13 13 66 not possible decrease increase keep increasing so 26 and 53 again not possible 39 and 40 again not hitting if we take 52 and 27 that makes sense right so one of the possible solutions is 27 means this value is 3 right 13 uh, and 52 this value is 4 and this value is 2 so this is matching now let us see one condition the last condition says the number of employees who retired from marketing department in 2024 so we are getting in 2024 as 46 is more than the number of employees who retired in 2022 greater than 27 so this condition is fitting thus far let us see if we have any other solution also so if you further increase you will make it 65 we cannot make a multiple of 9 right so we will rule out this possibility now if you take as we have taken 2 if we take 1 that we will get 23 we need to make a total of 102 so 13 and 89 does not make sense if we make it 26 we will get 76 okay if we make 39 we will get 63 right but when you get 63 as a multiple of 9 you will say 7 3 and 1 is a solution but this value is greater right it has to be less than 23 or alternatively we can check for the values of multiples of 9 which are less than 23 so if you put 9 we get 93 which is not possible if you take 9 18 we will get 84 which is not a multiple of 30 so we have no other solution so that is the unique solution the values are 3 4 and 2 okay so this value will be 300 400 and 200 respectively okay now we can calculate the values of the number of employees who retired from each of the departments okay so let us do uh, the verification check also 40 3 into 9 27 13 into 4 52 <coughs> 2 into 23 is 46 and this is 47 46 47 is 93 plus 27 is uh, 120 160 plus 52 212 so that is matching so we have solved the entire set got the number of employees who were hired and retired in each of the years and one can calculate department wise as well now let's look at the other questions and answer them the number of employees retired was the highest in which year so the highest number of employees retiring was in 2023 how many employees were hired in the finance department in the five years altogether so we just need to add this okay so how to add is uh, add the numbers that add up to zero fast or close to 100 like 84 into 4 plus 14 is 98 when you add 98 to 256 we get 354 easy to add plus 52 is 406 plus 135 is 541 so this is how we do the addition faster the number of employees retired from HR department in the five years altogether. So HR department, the number of employees retiring. Okay, so we will add 45, 54, 99 plus 1110 plus 12 is 122 plus 176 is 298. Given that the technology department employed 345 people at the end of 2020, how many employees did it have at the end of 2025? <clears throat> so, 2020, at the end of 2020, we know the number. Now, we will find how many were hired minus how many were, how many retired from the company. Okay. So, 345 were already there plus how many hired minus how many retired. So, hired if you see this is 26 plus 63 is 27 plus 63 is 90, 94, 130 and 640, 770. 
and number of employees retired so if we see 30 43 97 97 plus 88 185 so 185 retired now this is 160 770 plus 160 will be 930 employees so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.